Let off. Thunder Bear just took a stumble coming out of stalls as Cody Noir straight into the lead from Little Big Bear in the purple and white jacket, followed by Yosemite Valley and Bive. These are tracked on the outside by Slaughn Awalian at the rear of the field. Coming on towards the end of the first two furlongs is Thunder Bear. This is the Jebel Ali Racecourse in Stables, Anglesey, two-year-old stakes. And uh, doing his own thing over on the far side is Cody Noir. Little Big Bear leads the other runners towards the stand side, who's tracked by Bive, Slaughn Awalia, Yosemite Valley, and Thunder Bear. Little changes in the order, heading for the halfway stage. Cody Noir, by a diminishing couple of lengths to Little Big Bear, poised on the outside of Bive, and they're followed by Yosemite Valley, Slaughn Awalia, and Thunder Bear. Two and a half furlongs from home on the Jebel Ali Racecourse and Stables, Anglesey, two-year-old stakes. On the right-hand side, it's Little Big Bear. Bive is ridden along. Dropping back on the far rail is Cody Noir, Yosemite Valley is making ground in the centre. Then Slaughter Nawalian Thunder Bear, 200 yards left to go. And it's Little Big Bear in the lead and is now applying the pressure. Kicks away from Yosemite Valley, Bive and Slaughter Nawalia. Little Big Bear is set to back up the Windsor Castle and the Anglesey, making it three out of four. Perfect start here at HQ today for Ride Moore, Aiden O'Brien, Yosemite Valley. Best of the rest than Bive, Slaughter Nawalia. Aidan O'Brien has taken the first two races here on Judmont Irish Oaks. They Aidan with a couple of really smart colts, I think. Little Big Bear has just won the the latest race. Give us your thoughts on his performance today. Yeah, no, very happy, uh, Gary. We always thought a lot of him. Um, he had a lovely run here first day, went back to Nace and won with Seamus the second day, and he went to Ryan and won nicely with Ryan the last day. Obviously, it was a step up to six furlongs today, so um, it was lovely for him to do it that way. Uh, Ryan was very happy with him. Uh, he said he, he travelled very strong down past the two, and he said he felt that he ran through the line, so uh, he was very happy with him. Do you feel that was his most impressive performance yet? He seemed to just leave them for dead. Didn't he? I think so. Listen, he, he travelled very sweet through the race and, and like, he, he did pick up really well and, and he, he put distance between them very quickly. Um, so you'd have to be very happy with him. I suppose the Phoenix Stakes looks the obvious target for him. Will we see him there? I think so. That, that was the plan, uh, to come here and then go to the Phoenix. So uh, he's a big, powerful, straightforward horse, so hopefully. And Aidan, would you be optimistic he will get a nice bit further in time? Uh, yeah, Ryan said that he felt that he could kind of could be a national stakes due horse horse uh, there, so th that's a good sign. Obviously, he was giving him the vibe that he, he did seven wasn't going to be any problem to him this year, so that, that's a very good sign, uh, Gary. And the horse in the first hands, Anderson, made a good impression on debut. Was that everything you were looking for from him today? Yes, yeah, absolutely. We thought he would win first time. Uh, he was a little bit green around Tipperary and it just happened a little bit quick. Uh, he was working like a very nice horse. Uh, so everything was lovely from today, the track and the draw and everything and uh, the trip. Uh, obviously, he'll get much further, um, but uh, you would have to be very happy with him. And a few big reputations on the line going into that race as well. Do you think it will turn out to be a decent race? I think so. Like obviously, we always thought that he was a quality horse. So, um, like obviously, and, and we had a run, so that's uh, never a disadvantage. And Aiden, is there a route plotted out for him for the rest of the season? Yeah, he, he could go to the Futurity, and he I, we'll have no problem going up further than that if we want. But uh, he's going to be there for that now if we want him. Those two horses, I presume, are right near the top of the pecking order with the juveniles, are they? I, I think so, Gary. They're, they're quality horses. And uh, when they're big, powerful horses that have physiques like that and pedigrees like they have, and uh, listen, uh, obviously uh, anything can happen with them, really. Exciting prospects. And in a three-pronged attack for the big one later on, the Judmont Irish Oaks. A few eyebrows were raised when Ryan's name appeared next to Toy. What's the thinking behind that? Yeah, we always thought she was very smart, Philly, and uh, nothing went right for her any day this year yet. Uh, we always thought she would get a mile a quarter well um, and uh, and could get a mile and a half she's been working very nice we always thought she she had a lot of quality um, just the things haven't worked for her um, we're very happy with her work um, everything has went smooth since her last run um, she was drawn into car park the last day she won and she couldn't win from where she was and uh, still went about getting into it halfway up the straight you know so that's a good sign um, then I suppose uh, Wayne's filly had a lovely run in Ascot. She finished just behind Jessie's filly, her first run over a mile and a half, so you would have to be very happy with that. And then Seamus's filly ran a very good race in Leperstown over a mile and six, so obviously he's sure that she stays and uh, could have a little bit of class, so um, hopefully they run well. Yes, Emily Dickinson, that was her first run since she disappointed over at Lingfield. I presume 
something was amiss that day and was, it didn't yeah. look like a true form. Yeah, no, it, Ryan said that and he, he, he kind of, he was very gentle on her in Lingfield. If, if you go back and look at the video, he accepted that uh, it wasn't going to be her day from a long ways down. Um, we, she came back and we gave her a nice rest and then that was her first run in, in uh, Leperstown since then. OK, well, we look forward to seeing them run later on. It's been a great start, Aidan. Thanks for your time. Best of luck. A pleasure, Gary. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, Aidan.